hi guys this is Saja in this tutorial I'm going to teach you a very important uh, feature of unity namely occlusion culling okay before that I like to apologize for my uh, delay in the uh, tutorial making of monster Tower hero because right now I am in the process of releasing the game so after releasing the game I will cover the tutorial as soon as as possible okay what is occlusion culling occlusion culling is a rendering feature which is uh, right now available in the unity uh, okay this is used for obscuring the object which is outside the camera view okay uh, occlusion culling for unity is powered by umbrella it's one of the best uh, third party tool for calculating the upper occlusion culling uh, for the game okay now it is integrated uh, along with the unity okay uh, occlusion culling how to open the occlusion culling of the window unity okay go to windows and click occlusion culling okay you will find three tabs namely object bake and visualization okay in object you will have quick selection okay if you keep this as none the occlusion culling will calculate the entire scene okay uh, that is the uh, occlusion culling for the entire scene will be calculated okay if you want to uh, calculate the occlusion culling for a specific area just select the none and you create new okay a new area is now created in the center of the unity okay you can move that area anywhere in your unity world okay okay uh, is uh, is va view volume okay if you enable this the occlusion culling for the uh, static object will be calculated is target volume if you enable this the occlusion culling for the moving object will be calculated okay target resolution determines how accurate the occlusion culling inside the area will be okay this affects the size of the cell in the occlusion area okay note this only affect the target area okay uh, they have some uh, preset uh, value for the target resolution namely low medium high and very high and extremely high low this takes uh, less time to calculate but is less accurate okay the medium gives you a balance between accuracy and time taken to process the occlusion culling data high takes longer time um, to calculate but has the better accuracy very high takes some more time than the high but the accuracy is very high and uh, be careful uh, it takes a very huge amount of time okay extremely high is used for calculating the exact occlusion culling for the movable object okay and the time taken for uh, extremely high is very huge so please be very careful in doing that okay and also if the camera is out of the given occlusion area or any object or outside the area the occlusion or uh, those object will not be calculated okay for example i'm going to move this two cube i'm going to make a duplicate and i'm going to place outside of my occlusion area okay, okay i'll adjust the size of the occlusion area select the occlusion area in your hierarchy panel okay you can adjust the size of the occlusion area using the inspector i'll adjust the size i'll go to top view okay i'll adjust the size as quickly as possible okay and also y value okay uh, center is used as a pivot point of the uh, occlusion area is volume and is target is same as the option which you find in the object tab the same is the target resolution if you change it 
it get updated in the inspector i'll keep as medium okay let us go to the big tab okay uh, view cell size okay what is view cell size uh, size of each view area cell okay a smaller value uh, produce more accurate occlusion culling okay this value is a trade off between occlusion accuracy and storage size okay this is very important okay please uh, uh, try to keep uh, the cell value as per minimum as you can as maximum as you can okay okay near clip plane uh, near clip plane is nothing but the clip plane of the click plane of the camera okay uh, try to keep uh, this value uh, as low as possible that is if you have more than one camera in your scene uh, try the or try to keep the uh, uh, near clip plane uh, as low as the uh, camera which has the uh, okay i'll show you an example before that okay i have two camera uh, you find the near clip plane for one camera 0 0.3 and the second camera is the same one okay i'll reduce this as 0 0.2 okay. okay you please keep this value as low as possible in this scene you have two camera okay the lowest clip plane for the camera is 0 0.2 so please keep that as a uh, value of the near clip plane and the far clip plane is the maximum value which you use in the camera okay that is the camera which have higher uh, far clip plane uh, use that value for this uh, option okay baking quality determines the uh, quality of the occlusion object okay uh, they have namely preview and production a uh, preview is used for determine is used to doing the development okay it is inaccurate but you can get some idea how the occlusion will be will behave when th when the game is running okay production okay please enable the production when you when you finish the game that is the final output uh, okay final output of your game uh, use this when you are uh, deploying your game okay it is more than uh, it takes more time but it will be more accurate for you okay visualization i will go to the visualization okay visualization is nothing but you are just viewing the occlusion culling uh, this is the calculation area of the occlusion culling okay the blue line which you see in the viewport is nothing but is uh, it's nothing but the cell division of the occlusion culling okay the white line is a person the uh, volume uh, view volume of the cell division okay you can just enable and disable the uh, view line of that okay let's enable it okay visualization okay let us see the particular let us see in the viewport okay how the occlusion is calculated for this uh, for this scene okay i'll just bake the scene it takes a queue a very huge very time you can see a, a ball will be appeared in the uh, right left lower corner of the unity okay you will find uh, sampling pvc what is pvs sorry it's a pvs what is pvs uh, pvs is nothing but a collection of cells and the visibility information that determines which cells are visible from any other cell okay it is known as pvc pvs pvs that is called as potentially visible set okay let us wait for the okay guys so now the calculation for the this for occlusion culling is over okay check in the viewport okay, i will disable the target and also i'll disable the view okay you can see the cube which is inside the camera view will be rendered okay the cube which is outside the camera view will not be rendered okay you can see if i move the camera the uh, the visibility of the cube will be kind of will be based on the uh, camera focus okay i'll play this so you sorry because this object is not moving because 
we have made this object as a static I make it as non static object and you will play it ok you can see yeah. you can see this object will get disappeared when the uh, object is outside the cab view area ok and also the main benefit of the occlusion culling is uh, is used for reducing the number of draw calls in your game ok I will show you you can see uh, now the scene is has occlusion culling I'll, I'll clear the occlusion culling before ok so that you will get some idea uh, you can see that number of tries is used for this scene is 836 ok if I clear the occlusion culling you can see the tries will get increased okay. now you can see it has become 2k tries is used for calculating the entire scene ok this is the main use of the occasion collection. Okay guys, see you. Have a nice day. Bye.